Baseball tryouts begin February 12th at 4 on the baseball field. You must have a current physical to try out and have passed at least three classes last semester. See Coach Mike Ray or Coach Curry if you have any questions. Boys golf tryouts will take place Monday, February 17th and Tuesday, February 18th at 415 at the Puppet Creek Bayonet Golf Course. If you have any questions, please visit Mr. Harp's stream room G706 on Gibson Modular. Please bring your physical. Congratulations to the boys freshman basketball team for their win against Pine Press. There will be a debate club interest meeting February 13th at 4 p.m. in Ms. Henderson's classroom, room M02. Sassy Silk Clinics will resume on Thursday, February 13th, 2014 at 3.55 p.m. in the McDonald Cafeteria. If you have any questions, see Ms. McNeil in room M01 and Ms. Fields in the McAllister building. Hope County High School's Drama Club will be hosting a dinner theater Saturday, February 15th at 6 o'clock p.m. in the McDonald Gym. Tickets are $20. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. D by email or caller. You can also go to the main office or find a drama club student to get the order form. Please hurry up because seats are limited and they won't be sold at the door. So JJ is an illustration of a young version of you. In a sense. I'm Dave Price, and here's the story. Here's the story. Here's the story. Here's the story, here's the story of my art. <laughs> You're looking at a James Evans original. I paint part impressionistic. You made me ugly. That part is right on. <laughs> Tell me about how your relationship with Norman Lear started, how your work came to appear on Good Times. Norman and I had a conversation related to the exhibition I was having. He said, you know, I have an idea for you to do the paintings for this kid we have that we are developing. I want you to behold the latest J.J. Evans masterpiece. So this is part of the collection of The Beauty of the Ghetto. Yeah, and all of these uh, images were used at one time or another on good times. Sugar Shack, which is probably your, your most well-known piece. Yes, lots of movement, lots of movement. And I think if I'd taken a little bit more time, I could have gotten some more people in here, too. <laughs> <laughs> the beauty of the ghetto not only defined how and in what ways black was beautiful, but it gave a sense of pride, a sense of community. Now, painting is your thing, ain't it? Well, I want it to be. We saw the graduates so often featured on, on Good Times. I mean, it qualifies uh, J.J. to a great degree in terms of his education, in terms of what maybe he wanted to do with his art. Ernie, you were once a professional football player. Right. And now you're a, a world-renowned artist. I mean, being an athlete helped me to formulate an analysis of movement. And movement is what I wanted to capture on canvas more than anything else. I can't stand a static canvas. It's necessary for these people to be caught in that action. In this artwork and many of your other paintings, the eyes are closed. I've uh, closed the eyes of the people I painted because of our blindness to one another's humanity. Those things are uh, present are signature pieces in my paintings just because of my makeup as a human being. Now, I've heard this story that on one occasion you were on the field and you looked up at the sky and you said, oh, that sky well, uh, is... Tell me the story. There was a fight on the field. Right. And when I looked up, the sun was hitting the light portions of the uniform. I said, boy, what a contrast, you know. And I said, that's pretty nice. I think it's time for me to get out of this game. <laughs> yeah. With everyone that looked at JJ and said, that art is beautiful, didn't that give you a certain sense of, of satisfaction? I think the fact that Norman made him an artist uh, invigorated and gave a sense of uh, self-esteem to many kids who watched that show. Students, come over here and feast your eyeballs upon my painting. What art is, is the most complete an intense form of expression of the inner life. As such, it has the capacity to change. It has the capacity to elicit, to, to bring forth points of view that people can grow from. I'm Dave Price, and that's the story.